Good Tuesday evening. Let's take a look at why we didn't see the severe weather yesterday that we expected. And the reason why is we had some pretty thick cloud cover that hung around throughout the entire day. Now that cloud cover helped prevent that sun from reaching the surface. So we didn't see those temperatures heat up as well as we thought it would. We saw those temperatures actually in the 70s yesterday and cooler air really likes to stay toward the ground. Just think of when you walk into your home on a winter day, that first floor, it's a little bit chilly, but as you go upstairs to the second or the third floor, it's a little bit warmer. Heat likes to rise and that if we would have seen those temperatures climb into the 80s yesterday, that would have meant we would have seen more vigorous convection across the Brazos Valley. And unfortunately, that did not happen. If we would have seen those temperatures climb into the 80s, we likely would have seen some tornadoes as well as damaging winds. Now, we don't have any severe weather out there today. Temperatures are pretty nice, 68 degrees. It's a touch below average, but we are dealing with some sunny skies. The winds have been a little bit pesky out there today, gusting up to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures across the Brazos Valley are in the 70s across that southern zone, 70 degrees in Brenham, 70 and getting a little bit cooler across the northern zone where those temperatures are in the 60s. We have a high pressure that's building in from the north. That's why we've seen those winds kind of see a little uptick today behind that cold front, but as the pressure system builds over the Brazos Valley, we'll gradually see those uh, winds start to come down. We're a little bit warmer toward the south and the west in the 80s in Del Rio, 87 degrees, 78 degrees in San Antonio. That high pressure leading to mostly clear skies across the Brazos Valley, and that means those temperatures are going to cool down pretty efficiently tonight. That high pressure going to continue to build toward the south and the east heading into the morning hours, so it's going to start out clear out there. Winds going to be light. Temperature Temperature is going to be in the upper 40s, so it's going to be rather cool out there. That high pressure, though, is going to move off toward the east as we head into the afternoon hours. That means the winds are going to start to flip around toward the south and the east. Could see a little bit of an uptick in cloud cover as we head into the afternoon hours. Now, as we head into Thursday, a warm front gradually going to start lifting into the Brazos Valley by the morning hours, and that moisture really increases during the afternoon hours. Thursday, we're going to see a weak disturbance move overhead. That's going to generate a few showers and storms out there Thursday afternoon. Better storm chances start to arrive as we head into late week into the weekend as a cold front starts to work its way down toward the Brazos Valley from northern Texas. This is going to create an uptick in precipitation chances, showers and thunderstorms across the Brazos Valley. Now, some of the guidance is indicating that we're going to see that front stall somewhere near the Brazos Valley. And this could lead to an area of enhanced rain either over the Brazos Valley or possibly slightly north are a little bit farther south. We're going to have to iron this out over the next few days and determine just exactly where this front is going to stall because that means we're going to see some places pick up a couple inches of rain and that could lead to some isolated flooding issues. We're going to continue to monitor that, but if that front does stall, we're going to see showers and storms train across it and that's why there could be some enhanced rainfall totals. Again, we're going to kind of iron this out over the next couple of days. Taking a look at that nine day forecast temperatures are a little bit warmer out there tomorrow. We'll climb to above average 77 degrees and then we notice that we start to see those rain chances increase Thursday all the way into the weekend. Stay tuned. More KAGs after the break.